rich, poor, middle class. Parents often believe it's their responsibility to shield their children from economic differences in social class. But new research shows children as young as five recognize differences in class. In fact, by the time they reach pre-kindergarten, kids know the difference. So I'm wondering if you've ever heard about the words rich or the word poor. Have you ever heard those yes. words? This group of primary school kids already knows what money can buy. I think of middle class as my family because my family has enough money to buy like the stuff we need. I feel that my family is rich because, well, um, they have two wonderful children, me and my brother. UCLA developmental psychologist Rasmita Mystery studies social stratification and the impact it has on children. So thinking about education and occupations and income and wealth, we think if we don't draw attention to it, then maybe kids won't think that it's important. And in fact, we, what we know is it's the opposite. Mystery's team showed five to eight-year-olds four depictions of local neighborhoods and asked them which looked most like theirs. Most of the kids chose the middle class photo. More than a third were also able to point to concrete reasons, such as their appearance of a house. She also asked them if it was fair that some people are rich and some are poor. Well, it's not fair, but not a lot of things are fair. Parents should continue the conversation at home. Don't ignore your child's observations. Use their curiosity to start a conversation. Instead of saying a homeless person, use phrases like a person who is homeless. This reinforces that poverty does not define a person, but describes their current circumstances. Encourage concern, compassion, and action. And I think our task as adults is to help them make meaning of this. Mysteries working with teachers to develop curriculum to help children understand why there are differences. It's believed when children view poverty and inequality as unfair, they'll work to correct those disparities.